Hello everybody, today is a really exciting day for me because today I'm launching the ESP32 Trinity, which is an open source ESP32 board for controlling RGB LED matrix panels. I had planned to make a longer video around the panels in general that I was going to release today, but I had a deadline for myself of releasing the Trinity tonight and I'm just playing out of time. I was not going to be able to finish it, so that video will be coming soon. The ESP32 Trinity is now available on my Tindy store and I'll be shipping them from Ireland as the orders come in. But I'm delighted to announce that there are also some other resellers involved too. So you can check out Colin Hickey's store, he's based in the UK. Unexpected Maker's store, he's based in Australia. And you can get the Trinities for a reduced price from Maker Fabs who are based in China. Makerfabs also sell matrix panels that have been tested with the Trinity, so it's a good option if you want to get everything together. If you are familiar with the shields I sell on Tindy, the Trinity is very similar to the I2S matrix shield. It uses the same libraries that that does. The Trinity is a little bit different though because it arrives fully assembled. You just plug it into the matrix, connect up the power wires and you are ready to go. There are also some additional features of the Trinity too, such as a keyed connector, so it's not possible to plug it in the wrong way around or plug it in offset once you select the right connector of the matrix panel. It also features two capacitive touch buttons, which are just a nice option for adding input to your project without needing any extra circuitry. It also features a USB-C port, which can be used to both program the ESP32 and also power the matrix panel. Each Trinity will also come with a LDR. This can be used for adjusting the brightness of the display based on the ambient light. It does not come assembled because the LDR should be probably pointing up the top of the matrix panel to get the best view of the ambient light and if I soldered it it would be pointing at the back and if you have it on a desk or something up against a wall that would not be a good representation of what the light is like. I've created a lot of examples for the Trinity too and you can find them on the Trinity's GitHub page. Everything from Hello Worlds to full projects like the Wi-Fi Tetris clock. I've also been working on a way of flashing full projects directly to the Trinity without you needing to install any additional software or libraries or anything like that. That's available for the Wi-Fi Tetris Clock project. You can just plug the Trinity in, open the link on Chrome and just flash it. I'll cover that in more detail in another video. And that's pretty much it. Keep an eye out for the future videos. I have a ton of them planned for the Trinity. I'm really excited about it and yeah. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below, or you can reach out to me on Discord or raise an issue on the GitHub page for the Trinity. Okay, thanks a lot. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.